Hi everybody, it's Megan. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Mandala Garden Stones. They are really pretty, um, perfect to decorate your outdoor space. You can put them in a garden or in a plant. Mandala is a Sanskrit word meaning circle. So uh, this is the product, what it looks like, and um, this art form is celebrated in many cultures. So I'll show you how to make it. Even though it looks difficult, I promise it really isn't. So I'll show you how to make each design. So this is a pretty simple project um, and what we have in our bags is our two river stones that we're going to paint black to start. We've got a foam paintbrush, two q-tips which are dotting tools along with a sharpened pencil which is also a dotting tool and then we've got our paints uh, black, white and one through five. So uh, we can go ahead and start with painting our rocks black. What we're going to do is just give them a good painting all over. Doesn't have to be thick or double coated or anything, just a good paint on both of them. And then we're going to let that dry when you're done. Okay, well, while we're waiting for that paint to dry on the rock, we are going to prepare our dotting tools with our Q-tips. So we have two of them. On one of them, you are going to pull off the cotton from one end to just uh, make it totally clean so that all there is is that cardboard stick. So we're going to use that as one side. And then once you're done with that, you can start on the other side. Um, which is that you will have the other side, you're going to take off about half of it. So just take off a little clump and leave the rest kind of like that. And then we're gonna put that in, in the white paint and just kind of smear the white paint over it and let that dry. And what that's gonna do is just give us the second size of our dotting tool. So the first is the Cardboard end of the Q-tip, the second is this smaller dot with half of the Q-tip cotton on it. And then the last size is going to be the Q-tip end without any cotton pulled off, but we're still going to dot it in the white just to make that tip a little bit um, firmer. So dot it in the white and then kind of like smear it like that and let it dry. Okay, so we are going to learn a very basic dotting technique for a mandala. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is use our pencil eraser, and this is our bigger dotting tool for this project. And we're going to dot in our white paint. And you're just going to just cover the paint, but it doesn't have to be super thick. And then kind of locate where you think the middle of your rock is going to be and just dab once and that's going to be your first dot. Okay so the first technique I'm going to show you is called the crisscross technique. So we're using our pencil tip here and we're going to do a dot on the top and then the bottom and then crisscross from that on each side to make um, a cross pattern um, as close as the rock or as close as to the middle circle as you can. Okay, so we're just going to make two dots in between each dot here. And it may be tempting not to move your rock around and just think you can do it, but it's honestly going to be uh, more even if you just turn your rock with each dot you make. See, I messed up that one a little bit. Just going to kind of fix it. You can, you know, dot it away, dab it away with a paper towel if you want um, to be perfect, but you can also just keep going because when in the end we're going to have a full design and you won't notice these little imperfections. Okay, so we have our first row. Now we're going to do our second row, which is using the uh, purple paint number one, and we're using our first uh, dotting tool with the Q tip, the cardboard end. And we're just going to dot in the purple. 
And then we're going to do the same crisscross pattern, but the dot is going to be in between two of the previous row dots. So the purple is in between two of those white dots. And the same thing, again, it's that crisscross pattern. So on each end, and then you can go fill out your circle with two in between, right in the middle of the other dots here. Okay, so for the next uh, row of circle dots, we are using the Q-tip uh, end that we uh, pulled off half of the cotton. So we are going to use that as our dotting tool in the green paint number two. So just dip your paint and we're going to do the same thing and start with the crisscross pattern. And once you do this a little bit, you will get really good at it. It's just a little bit of practice and you're doing the same thing where we're going in between um, the dots from the previous row. And I'm also mostly dotting once in the paint every, every time I dot. Just keeps your uh, paint even. And then you can also just kind of wipe your dotting tool off with a paper towel. You don't need to wet it or try to clean it or anything. It'll still work fine. Okay, and now we're using the third Q-tip size dotting tool, which is the end of the Q-tip that we did not pull any cotton off, and we're using the paint number three. And again, it's going to be the same exact pattern here of just doing the crisscrossing and then Actually, I messed up. It was supposed to be right there. So I added an extra dot, but that's okay because we can just go between them and it'll work out fine. So again, just a row of dots that are in between. Okay, now we're using our pencil eraser dotting tool and our green number four, and we're just going to repeat the same exact pattern with a larger dot with your eraser um, around those other colors, around that last. And I keep doing this as putting the wrong, the dot in the wrong place for the crisscross pattern for some reason, but that's okay going to work out anyway. It's really just a guide to kind of get you to do them evenly anyway, so. Okay, now we're back to paint color number two, and we're just going to do our tip of our pencil, and we're going to make dots all around these green circles and it's going to kind of go in a pattern around the circle and get smaller as we go in. So in this way the one at the end is going to be the biggest and then as we go in it gets smaller. And I'm redotting only um, the first one, and then when I go back around again, I'm redotting. And you can keep doing that around your whole design. Okay, now we're using our cardboard end of our Q-tip dotting tool and the purple again. And we're just going to make a dot in between each of these pretty blue decorative dots here, just in between each one. 
keep going until you're done. Okay, and now we're going to make a little swipe with our um, pencil and the white paint again. It's going to be coming out from the purple dot and it's just going to be like a little swipe like that from each dot coming together in the middle. Just kind of like that. Oops. It can help to like, I didn't sharpen your pencils all the way because uh, it's better if they're sort of a blunt end. But if at this point you want to sharpen your pencil a little to make this a smoother line, you can. But it's, it's also fine the way it is. And keep going around. Okay, and we're gonna finish off this design with one more purple dot just outside of each purple dot here with your pencil eraser. And once you're done with that, we can let that dry and move on to the second design. And we are actually not quite done because I forgot we're gonna do one more design on this. We are going to walk our blue dots again, the blue number three around the purple. Just again, the pretty lace design again around the purple. For a finishing touch on this stone, I'm going to use the gold paint and the cardboard side of my dotting tool here. And I'm just going to do a double, it's called a double dot technique, where I'm going to go with the gold on top of this blue to add a little shimmer to this one. Oops. And it's going to match the other stone a little bit better, too. Um, but yeah, this is a personal preference, so you can do that if you want to. And then I'm also going to do a layer of the double dots on the purple. So again, that's just totally your preference if you want that, as that aspect of detail or not. Okay, with our second design, we are going to start with a bigger white dot in the middle, directly in the middle. I'm going to be using a chapstick cover. You guys have a different paintbrush than me, but your paintbrush end is good uh, size for this as well. So we're just going to dot and just a big white dot in the middle. Just like that. And now we're going to use our pencil tip again. And we're going to do, starting with our crisscross pattern again, we are going to do um, 16 blue dots, blue number three, around this. So these are more dots than we're used to, so we do have to kind of be able to fit them in. But since this is a bigger circle, it's very possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide it even further. So after the four dots, you're going to put two dots in between those four dots or one dot in between the four dots. And then you have an easier way to just dot in between that. Okay, and we're using our purple and our cardboard end of our Q-tip again, and same exact thing, slightly larger dots in between the dots from the previous row. 
and then just go all the way around. Okay, for the next row, we're going to do actually less dots. We're going to be using our Q-tip tool, the one um, with half of the cotton pulled off. And this gold, you might need to use like a couple dots if it doesn't show up right away. You can kind of go over it again. But we're doing the crisscross pattern to start and then just one in between each of those for a total of eight. And it's hard to see here, it doesn't really show up, but in the light, this gold is really pretty. It's gonna look really sparkly in the sun. Okay, we're going back with our white and our pencil tip, and we're going to make those dots around the gold circle. That's called walking the dots, I guess. But it's going to look like that, and you're going to just do it all the way around. Okay, and we are back with our gold and our pencil tip, and we're just going to do a series of dots down the middle of each of these. Just like that. If you can't fit three, you can do two. Whatever works for you. And keep going around the edge the whole way. Okay, we're back with our blue number three and we've got our pencil eraser. And we're gonna just do a blue dot at the end of each of that series of gold dots we call a bridge here just a big blue dot for a total of eight and we all have different rocks um they're all different sizes so some are going to work with this easier than others you can modify this how you want if your rock is kind of oblong you can just paint a big circle in the middle and keep it at that Okay, we are using our Q-tip, our medium-sized Q-tip, which is the one with half of the cotton pulled off, and we're doing a gold dot again, and it's going to be at the end of each blue dot, just right at the top there. You don't have to press super hard. You also might have noticed the dot size might change depending on how how much you press down so just keep going around with that gold looks really pretty and then we're going to go back to our pencil and we're going to do the gold again and we're just going to do that walking the dot thing again around down from that bigger gold dot like that you can see that and keep going around okay we are back with our pencil eraser and our purple paint again and we are going to finish off this design we're just gonna put a, a nice purple dot in between each one That's it for this design. Unless, of course, you want to keep going, you can keep adding more dots. It's really up to you how you do your mandala. These are just suggestions. You can do it however you would like. Thank you for joining me today to make these mandala stones. Aren't they beautiful? Um, I hope you had fun making mandala. Remember, it can be anything you want. You can look up patterns online, and you can use different colors to make different designs of your own. Also, if you are going to put these outside, 
um, in the rain, make sure that you do buy a some sort of weatherproof varnish. There's one that Mod Podge makes, I think that's good. Um, and plenty of others though, look on Amazon or at a craft store. Um, so thanks again for joining. See you next time. Bye.